Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. Here's your weekly dose of inspiration to build a creative habit. One drawing at a time. Brought to you by Sketchbook School. Today we're using a waterproof fine liner, watercolors, a brush, water and watercolor paper. To get some inspiration when you want to draw characters, you don't need to look far. Let's start with a selfie. Draw the head. Then add the hair. This is often very characteristic for a person. My bangs are great to recognize. Now draw a nose. It can be just a rectangular shape. To draw characters, you don't need to draw realistically. Add circles or dots for the eyes. Add a mouth too. Think about the characteristics of your own looks. Do you often wear earrings, for example? Draw your favorite pair. Then with another rectangular shape, give that face a neck and some shoulders. Before you know it, you drew a character version of yourself in just one minute. Now that you drew yourself, think about your family and draw all of them. Here, I'll draw my dad. He has a great head of hair, a broad nose, and he wears glasses. Now that I've drawn my dad, I want to draw my mom too. She has short hair, her nose is a little smaller than mine and dad's and a little pointier. Often she wears small earrings and she also wears glasses. She often wears a nice necklace too, so I'll add one. I'll draw my husband with his curls, my nephew who has quite a round shaped face and I can go on and on and on. Go ahead and fill a page drawing your family or your friends or both. It's really fun to picture them in your head and think about each individual's characteristics. Don't worry about any likeness. You will know who is who and even if you don't, you will end up with a page full of characters. Let the characters overlap as you go. This way you'll be less precious about each drawing. Just try different shapes of faces and hairstyles. If you want, you can color your page. I will quickly put some watercolor on this and of course I'm a little impatient so some of the paint will bloom and colors will bleed into each other, but I don't mind. I still like the dash of color and the rosy cheeks. Use your imagination to picture the people you know and draw a simplistic version of their characteristics. Have fun! And if you want more inspiration, head on over to sketchbookschool.com and sign up for a course today.